Hey everyone, welcome to today's Daily Devo. We are piggyback off of Genesis 30. So if you have your Bibles, you can open up and turn to there. We're going to look at the mandrakes that uh, Leah wanted, or Rachel, sorry, wanted that Leah had. And um, what were the mandrakes? Well, they were a superstition that if they were to eat these, it would create a sexual desire, uh, arousal, and even it would open up the womb so that they can conceive kids. And so with that, Rachel was not able to bear children, even though God said, I have a promise. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to create a nation through you. Even though she, she had the promise, she decided to go to something else. And there are many times that we do that. Check this out. It says... Uh, verse 14, Reuben went out during the wheat harvest and found some mandrakes in the field. When he brought them to his mother, Leah, Rachel asked, please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But Leah replied, there isn't enough that you've taken my husband. Now you also want to take my son's mandrakes. And so what she does is she believes that if I had these, maybe then I could have kids. And so there are times we do that. If I had this, maybe then things would get better. If I went to this, it was to solve my problem or have this. Is God already has solved all of our problems, and that's through His Son, Jesus Christ, the problem of sin and death. Christ came, He died, and He rose again, conquering those. And that sometimes we don't rest in, and we try to turn to the mandrakes in our life. And this is what I love, is it says this in 22. Then God remembered Rachel, He listens her and opened her womb. As God remembers you and he sees you, and once all the mandrake shenanigans was over, then he steps in. And so when you have things that you're pushing God out of, leave room for him to step in. It says he listened to her, which means he listened to the prayers, not the superstitions. So cast your worries to him because he cares about you, and in the right time, he'll lift you up. So don't go to the mandrakes. Go to the word of God because he hears you, sees you, and cares about you. We'll see you guys next time.